I'm going to be going over my poster that is evaluating the effectiveness of the FAU High School Summer Bridge Program for incoming ninth grade students. My name is Amy Tiff and I work at FAU High School as part of the research program. So first of all, um, we've seen over the past year or so since COVID has sent us into quarantine that anxiety levels have risen, especially for students who already have issues with psychiatric diagnoses, such as anxiety and depression. We also see that engaging in online classes can be difficult for many students, especially when online technology uh, can become problematic uh, and students also have to use good time management skills in order to be successful. Technical problems, lack of community, all these things can contribute to students feeling disengaged and doing more poorly in their online classes. We've also seen that maintaining and supporting student connections during the pandemic has increased student well-being um, in the past year, but obviously that's really difficult for those of us in education. We also know um, as students enter into new programs, learning self-advocacy is one of the biggest skills that they need to develop in order for them to be successful. They need to know who to reach out to um, and when and how in order for students to uh, be successful. But students who don't necessarily have the historic access to college education um, through their family or community networks, they may struggle with this more. So um, in an effort to remedy some of these issues, we implemented a summer bridge program in the summer of 2020 in order to help our students who are coming into the FAU high school program. In normal summers, we offer a variety of different programs to have students become connected with one another, including um, a summer environmental camp. We also offer orientation programs, but this year due to the pandemic, or last year due to the pandemic, we weren't able to offer all of these support programs. Um, so in an effort to address these issues, especially the connectedness and uh, preparedness, time management skills, we offered what we called the Summer Bridge Program. So in total, we had 155 students coming into our program and 116 of them chose to participate in this program. It was online um, and it was a voluntary program. So we invited all the students to participate. Not all of them decided to engage. Um, this program included six weekly meetings. We had three general workshop meetings per week and then three class specific meetings for classes that were um, requiring a summer assignment. Um, that included English, history, and math. So through the week, they had six opportunities to engage with the program, three general workshops and three class specific workshops. The workshops included a variety of different topics to help them um, become prepared for FAU High School. That included meeting key staff members, understanding technology resources, we reviewed Canvas, the school website, um, how to navigate FAU's website. We also talked about time management, we talked about our counseling program and other enrichment programs such as the Kane Institute, the research program, and others. Um, we also provided a Padlet. If, you have, if you're not uh, familiar with Padlet, it's kind of like a Pinterest board, but students were able to post pictures of themselves, introduce themselves, um, their interests, and then we encourage them to share contact information if they were comfortable. It could have been their phone number or social media, usernames, whatever would allow them to communicate with their peers over the summer as they were entering into our program. Um, for data collection, I conducted a pre and post survey um, to kind of feel out how the students were feeling as far as their levels of anxiety, um, their excitement level for the program, if they, how many people they knew coming into the program, if they knew how to reach out to people in the program, and just kind of how prepared they felt as far as um, coming into our difficult program, time management, and things like that. We kept attendance records for all of our meetings to see which students were engaging and how much. Um, I also um, used their semester one grades, their GPA, in order to um, kind of evaluate uh, as a measure of success. And uh, I also conducted two focus groups uh, via Zoom. Uh, we conducted these at the end of quarter one, so right after the students had finished that, that quarter one and were able to kind of see final grades. And I conducted two groups, one that was high engaging students, so students who participated in most of the workshops that were available and then low engagement groups so students who didn't engage very often in the program um, so i'm going to zoom in here a little bit more um, so each of these uh, graphs these little bar graphs is a, uh, a selection of responses from our post-test survey and then in the description i have quotes from the focus group that kind of exemplify what we were seeing in our in our results here um, so the first question was overall, how beneficial did you find the Summer Bridge Zoom meetings? As you can see, the students found them to be very beneficial. 
um, the vast majority of the students said they were very beneficial or somewhat beneficial. When we look at um, the quote here, uh, one of the students ha uh, said, having the sophomores come in and then obviously the teachers explaining to us the breakdown of their classroom and some good tips that are going to help us achieve that definitely helped a lot throughout the semester. Um, so yes, we had upperclassmen, sophomores coming in, students who had just completed the ninth grade program. We had the teachers come in and introduce themselves and offer tips and kind of suggestions about getting ready for their classes. And the students seemed to find that um, uh, very beneficial for their success. Another question we asked is, do you feel like you are more prepared for the FAU high school or for FAU high school now than at the beginning of summer? So the results indicated that the students felt very highly that they were much more prepared than they were at the beginning of the summer. So the quote here, in the summer bridge program, it eased everyone into the school instead of going in on the first day and having a few books shoved in your face and being told to study. We knew what to expect. The first day in the first few weeks and pretty much the whole year. It was definitely the bridge, figurative bridge, from middle school to high school. Okay. One of the other questions we asked was how difficult do you expect your first year at FAU high school to be? So this is looking, um, we did an analysis looking at the pre to post survey here and we can see it was highly significant. Um, 34 students had higher mean difficulty ratings. So we can definitely see that the students um, were definitely expecting the, the program to be much more difficult, but um, I at the same time now they also feel more prepared. So I think they had a more accurate representation of what they expected this, the school to, um, to challenge them with. Another question is, have you connected with any FAU high school students outside of the summer bridge program that you did not know before the beginning of the summer? group chat, meet in person, etc. So these results indicated that the students were able to connect with new classmates. Um, again, most of these students are coming from, um, uh, these students are all coming from a variety of different middle schools in Palm Beach, Broward County, and even from out of state. And so for them to come in and know a group of students, even though they weren't um, able to do some of our normal summer enrichment programs is really powerful. So one of the students reported, the Padlet was a really good idea because everyone got their social media, but after there were group chats made and then it branched off from that. And that was so helpful because during the summer assignments, I know that some of us, some of the questions were a little vague. So some people were confused. I was confused on some things. So being able to ask your peers on what they think of it really helps you. And so yeah, it made it really easy. Um, and then in our next uh, question here, do you feel like you understand time management better now than you did at the beginning of the summer? So most of the students reported either probably, definitely, or might or might not feel better about this. So they did seem to have a better understanding of time management at the end of our program. Uh, so one of the students said, Summer Bridge, it taught me that planners are not just for memorizing or writing down your assignments so you can build them later. It's to plan out. That's why it's called a planner. To plan out what to do, uh, what, when to do assignments and at what time. So I think the Summer Bridge did help a lot with that. And we really did focus a lot on time management skills because that is one of the things that our students struggle with the most coming from middle school. Um, we offered workshops on it and then we had upperclassmen talking about what worked for them in our ninth grade program. Um, last here is a scatter plot of uh, the fall GPA scores. So at the end of semester one, uh, correlated with attendance. And while it's not a linear relationship, we do see a moderate correlation between attendance in the summer bridge program and GPA. Now, I definitely will not say there's a causation between attending Summer Bridge and, uh, you know, it causing higher GPA scores because students, um, while they probably got a lot of valuable information, there also could have been the factor that the students who are more likely to be successful in school are more likely to attend these voluntary type programs. So I think it, it kind of goes both directions, but I do see we, I do think that this is an important connection for us to explore. So in conclusion, um, the students who participated in the Summer Bridge program um, did better, um, and we did see a lot of engagement. Mo the vast majority of our students participated um, in the program, again, I think it was 116 out of 155, and the students who did engage typically engaged at a pretty strong level, which is fantastic. Um, again, we saw higher GPAs in students who participated more often. And students learned valuable information in the program, including time management skills, how to prepare uh, for their classes, and they got to know other incoming students. Um, we did have a, quite a few limitations, of course. Participation was voluntary, so the students um, could choose to attend, and we understood that they may or may not have the time to attend. Um, we, again, ran this study over summer 2020, which was a really unique time period. Students weren't 
working. They weren't hanging outside uh, of uh, outside of school with their friends because of um, you know uh, quarantine restrictions. Not everything was open that they normally would have. They weren't like attending camps and things like that that they may have normally attended over the summer. So um, it was kind of a unique opportunity, uh, a unique time frame for us to, to explore a program like this. In future research, um, we are going to modify and continue this program in summer 2021 because, again, we still have quite a few restrictions in place. And we did see it that it was so beneficial. We do want to offer some of the, um, similar programs for this next summer. So we're going to be modifying this program to kind of fit our new um, semi-post-pandemic world and see uh, what we can provide these students. We also, I'm going to go further into a um, review of the focus groups, looking at the differences between my high and low engagement students and see um, if I can get those low engagement students to, or students who might be more low engagement to connect a little bit at a higher level. So I'll have to explore that a little bit more. So our implications, um, we really want to provide this comprehensive summer orientation program and we already saw that it does benefit uh, students who are entering our highly rigorous high school program both academically and in social emotional domains. Um, and I'm just excited to see what we can do for this next summer. Um, below here are my references. And I'd like to acknowledge the Javits Gifted and Talented Grant that we get from the US Department of Education that funded this research and the Summer Bridge Program. And of course, FAU High School Administration and staff for supporting me um, and the students and their families for engaging. Uh, thank you so much and please uh, leave any questions for me below. Have a great one.